Well, we want to talk a little bit about some Omaha history right now. New book that is out by a well-known Omaha author, Eileen Worth, and uh, co-authored by Carol McCabe. We have Eileen with us here in the studio. The book is called A History Lover's Guide to Omaha. Good morning, Eileen. Good morning, Chip. Good Welcome morning, back. Karen. Thank yeah. you. Good to have you back on the show. And uh, you, you are a prolific author. Well, that's very kind of you to say. <laughs> yeah, I, ha- I and my specialty has turned out to be local history. Mm-hmm. And so I love writing about it. I've been in Omaha since 1969, and this is my probably fourth or fifth book on local history. So. Well, we had you on the show not too many years ago um, talking about uh, the book that chronicles the history of the Henry Dorley Zoo. That was outstanding. Thank you very much. Well, this is by the same publisher, they have a nationwide series on History Lover's Guide to XYZ City, and they asked if I would do the one on Omaha. And I said, sure. And then uh, interesting things happened. I was working on another book project, which I'll probably come back to you about, uh, a history of Omaha women that hopefully is going to come out next spring or late next spring or summer, University of Nebraska Press. But They came to me, and I said, well, I can't do it until I get done with that. Then the pandemic hit. And then my dear friend Carol, who, like me, is a Creighton University retiree, uh, and Carol and I have collaborated on things before. And Carol and I were trying to figure out, how do you do a guide to uh, what amounts to local history when you can't go in any museums (laughs) or any of the historic buildings because everything is closed down? So we came up with what I now think was, it was kind of like necessity is the mother of invention. So we came up with the idea of looking on the historic streetscape with historic buildings, the state historic markers, historic neighborhoods, parks, cemeteries, golf courses, you name it. And we have divided Omaha east of 72nd Street, which is really, for the most part, the historic area. And we took various neighborhood segments, did chapters around them, and then created tours so that you could either drive or you could stop your car if you wanted to walk someplace or see, find a particular historic marker. But we have, for all the various old neighborhoods, we have these walking and driving tours. That sounds fantastic. It makes sense. And uh, you can get, I don't want to forget this, people can uh, buy the book on Amazon.com. Yes, and better still, since you promote local businesses, they can buy it at local bookstores. And I particularly want to give a shout out to two that are great. Next Chapter Bookstore at 25th and Barnum and The Bookworm at 90th and Center. Those are, I really, really want to support these local booksellers who support local authors. They're Hometown really favorites. Wonderful. Well, and speaking of the bookworm, understand you're going to be doing a, um, a lecture and a signing at the bookworm? That's correct. On Sunday, August 22nd at 1 o'clock. Uh, and I would love to have everybody come out for it and give Beth Black, the owner who is phenomenal, give her some business. And yeah. there'll be plenty of copies? Oh, yes, absolutely. That's August 22nd at 1 o'clock at the Bookworm uh, uh, 90th and Center on the northeast corner. Yes. So, Eileen, uh, first of all, we're talking um, with Eileen Worth, one of the two authors of A History Lover's Guide to Omaha, just published this month. What are some, a couple of stories that people might find in the book um, that uh, would be fascinating? I think if you wanted to have an overall theme for the book, Omaha sometimes gets criticized, and possibly justifiably so, because we tend to destroy historic buildings, i.e. Jobbers Canyon. But the real story, in many ways, is we save buildings and districts if they make economic sense. And I think one of the things that we've found in doing this is the interesting mixture of old, new, and especially renovated, repurposed buildings all over in almost every district. For example, one of my favorites, and I want to give a real shout out to these wonderful people at the Great Plains Black History Museum. That is in the historic Jewel Building right off 24th Street in North Omaha. And 
it was built as a venue for African American Omaha back in the 30s, and it became the place where all of the nation's greatest African American jazz musicians performed. And it's gone through a couple of iterations, but now it is the Great Plains Black History Museum and just an absolutely wonderful place. It's right next to the Union for Contemporary Arts. Now, as you well know, both of you, I'm a former World Health reporter, and I started my career in Omaha in 69. I spent a lot of time in both North and South Omaha. But the thing that I think amazed me most were the many improvements and exciting developments going on in North Omaha. And I really hope readers of this book will take that chapter and that tour because they're going to be really amazed at some of what they see and enjoy. So, There's a lot of other great uh, North Omaha projects, 75 North, and a lot of investment and, uh, and a lot of... Uh, new projects going up in North Omaha as well. Right. And the housing, the housing, there are just so many great housing projects. And some fun eating places, too. We also recommend, we, we Carol and I toured, since we couldn't go in buildings, we spent a lot of time just driving around, and we started looking at eating places and ice cream stops and donut shops and parks and things that if you are doing the tour of, say, Florence, what are some of the parks where you could take the kids and let them get out of the car and run? Or have an ice cream cone at Zesto's. Or go have coffee at Harold's Coffee Shop. Neighborhood places. Um, the cathedral area. Um, you know, you've got Lisa's Radio Cafe on 40th Street. All these great neighborhood gems. We try to highlight these. Well, it's part of the History Lover's Guide, a series of books. And this is Omaha's iteration of that book by Eileen Worth and Carol McCabe. Uh, don't forget, uh, you can not only get it online, uh, but uh, the signing at the Bookworm on August 22nd. Eileen, appreciate you joining us, and thank you for making this contribution uh, to Omaha culture and history and just life. Well, it's my pleasure, and I thought I knew Omaha really pretty well before writing this book. And then just going on all these neighborhood tours and having made these lists of places and going, oh, my gosh, I did not know that um, this or that happened at this or that building. And talking about the Blackstone area, that is very exciting. Uh, The Kempton Cottonwood and all the stuff going on there, it's a great example of what we were talking about, about how you repurpose old buildings. In this case, we're taking something that was originally a hotel, became offices, and now it's back to being a spectacular hotel. And just to hang out in that area, and Benson area used to be, you know, it's kind of going down, and now it's so vibrant and exciting. And I hope people will take our recommendations. Thank you so much for having me. Well, it was our pleasure, and we appreciate you writing the book. Eileen Worth, who, along with Carol McCabe, author of A History Lover's Guide to Omaha. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.